Hi guys, I'm back and I'm sorry I've been away for a while but I've been a bit busy with um, job hunting and horrible kind of adult stuff like that. But for my first video after my week long absence I thought I would talk about X-Men First Class and my first impressions of it. Now I saw X-Men First Class last Thursday I think it was and I gotta say I loved it. It is the best X-Men movie in a good long while. I mean, X-Men 3 was terrible. X-Men 2 was really the only one that I really liked. And, X and Wolverine Origins, let's not talk about Wolverine Origins. So this is the first X-Men movie that I really enjoyed for many a year. And i got to say, I didn't just enjoy it on the usual levels either. I mean, as usual with 20th Century Fox Marvel movies, the special effects were great. The actual sequences were really good, but the thing that stole the show for me really were the performances of Michael Fassbender as Magneto and James McAvoy as Charles Xavier. Now these two actors, they really managed to put the kind of emotion and soul into the characters that surprisingly Shakespearean actors like Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen couldn't in the original X-Men trilogy, they really managed to kind of capture this feeling of two young men kind of drawn together as friends and then being torn apart by their differing ideologies. It's really kind of emotional in some places. Another thing which was kind of emotional was the kind of pain that Michael Fassbender managed to translate into the character of Magneto. Now, as most people who've read, it, who've read an X-Men comic will know, Magneto is of course a Holocaust survivor and he's very angry about that as well as being a mutant and being angry about that as well. And this translates really well in the movie. There are a lot of you know, quite painful scenes about Magneto kind of dealing with the things that he experienced during the war and it, and it really adds depth to the character I think. I think when if you look at the original X-Men trilogy, you do get a sense that Charles Xavier and Magneto were friends, but you don't get a sense of their, their closeness or the pain that either of them feel. But in this movie, you really do. I think there's a, a much deeper connection is transmitted by the film than any of the previous films. Uh, of course, with every X-Men movie, there are issues with, you know, X-Men canon and kind of the way that that's translated from comic book to screen. There are obviously a lot of appearances in this movie that don't fit either with the X-Men chronology or with the general chronology of the of the trilogy as a whole. I mean, the original five X-Men, you would expect in an X-Men first class movie for it to be a movie starring the original five X-Men that Charles Xavier put together in the comics, i.e. Archangel, Beast, Cyclops, Jean Grey, and Iceman. And unfortunately that isn't the team that is put together in the movie. I won't spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen it. I'll just say that that's not really the team that they put together. And there are also some, some relationships are made by the filmmakers between characters that do not exist in the comics. But all this is kind of usual and part of the course with um, comic book movies. I don't think there's a single comic book movie I've ever seen, apart from maybe The Watchmen, where the chronology of the original comics or the kind of relationships to the original comics are held in place deliberately. I mean, and even in The Watchmen, that's only done because it's a standalone story, and if you changed it, it wouldn't be the same story. So I think all that's kind of part of the course, and I won't hold it against X-Men First Class, because it is a truly excellent, excellent movie, especially for X-Men movies, which, as I said earlier, have been really, really terrible of late. So my general opinion is that it was really good. And if you like X-Men movies, if you like Marvel movies, please, 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 as well as seeing Thor, as well as seeing Captain America, which comes out on the 22nd of July, and I'm really excited about, go and see 
X-Men First Class. I would highly recommend it. Okay, that's uh, it for my feelings on X-Men First Class. Just as a, a side note to this video, I am going to see Green Lantern when it comes out in the UK in a couple of weeks, and I will be posting my first impressions on that video as well. And until then, I will continue posting videos more frequently than I have done in the last week. Okay, see you guys. Bye.